Hey guys, so this week we're going to see if we can finish up A pillars and hopefully even get to the B pillars, get those last bottom few inches taken care of where they need to be so that we can get ready to attach these two bodies together. Let's get into it. Quick shout out to Fitzy's Fabrication, where I learned that uh, hammering in a flange trick using a vise. That guy is an amazing metal worker, channel I love to watch, so if you guys are looking for some help on sheet metal, go check out Fitzy's. So there's what I was just doing. I didn't really think about it when I was cutting this piece out that I would want a piece to come down that side there around the old body mount. But there's that. Looking pretty good. We'll have to shape the bottom here some more and everything, but overall I think that is looking pretty good. <laughs> There's that patch. You can see the seam along here a little bit, but I'm fine with that. You can also see this other seam just a little bit. I welded in all of this. It's not really very pretty around here, but I welded that in just to seal it up. I may have to put a lip in along here, otherwise I'll come back and just weld that in to seal that up so that everything is all sealed up out of the weather in there. So that is the first repair patch done. We've got these spot well holds, holes drilled, but I have to rebuild the other side of this as well, so that's why I didn't do that. I've got to rebuild the inside of this and this corner here all has to be rebuilt. And then I put in a series of spot welds down here. You can kind of see the edge of one there, edge of one there edge of one there. I also had a big cut and a hole in the wrong place up here that I just welded up with that copper plate. Next up, up there, that needs to be patched. And at some point I need to decide what to do about the windshield. But for now we're just going to worry about that.
using a scrap of the Tahoe that we cut off to uh, make the panel for the driver's side. For the passenger side, we used a scrap of the travel all, but I think this stuff's about the same gauge. I made a mark the first time on the back side and then apparently forgot what it meant because I drilled the holes on the outside of the mark anyway. So I had to go back and drill a new set. Alright guys, so what we have here is the rusted out bottom of the B pillar between the two doors. Um, the rust, you know, only comes up to here. I went ahead and moved up just a little bit further. This bolt hole was, I believe, part of the seat belt mount. Because the seats I'm using have the seat belts built into them, I figured I'd delete that while I was in there. So we're going to go ahead and try and recreate this panel by hand. So obviously we sketched that out a little bit bigger than what we'll actually need. That just gives us enough space to make sure the flanges are the right depth and also then just cut off any excess when we're done. And then I've just marked out and tried to estimate what the shape of those curves are. We'll do our best and make it work. So now we just need to cut this outer section out and then we can start trying to put in those flanges. <laughs> So there you can see two of those flanges are in. Got to make sure they're deep enough though. And 
looking at that, I don't think I am flanging it quite enough. It's definitely not as sharp as the original. I can probably take something and stamp a little more angle into that though, but I think it's deep enough now. Not too shabby. I think that's pretty good shape overall. So it looks like I mismarked. You can see there, this is the original width here. And back here is what I just made. So I'm going to try to flatten that and move that line over, otherwise I may just have to start over. You can see we're pretty darn close. I'm happy enough with that. They're gonna line up pretty similar when I weld it together. Little bit of weld over the transition and I can grind it down so we get a nice, even, smooth transition. Just a little bit large along there. but We have a little bit too much here. And I knew we were going to be big down here, but that's real easy to cut and fix, so. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a couple of cracks that I actually put in it by overstressing the metal. And I think that's because I was pulling from every direction. You might be able to, yeah, you can see light through it right there. So I'm just going to come along the backside. Put in a couple of bits of weld and just grind that down a little just to fix that. Uh, I think it's because I had already pulled on this side. So when I started pulling on this side, it didn't have enough pull in it. So instead of moving metal, it started stretching metal until I thinned it too far. So let's put a little weld in that, grind it down a bit, and we should be good to go. All right, so here's that panel we just made. Try and get a look at the curve we've got there. Just hold it out just a hair when we weld that in. Same with this side, we just need to tip the panel out just slightly when we weld it all together. A little bit of fine fitting at the top might be necessary. Obviously, these this overhangs here. We're not too worried about that. Bottom seems to be basically where we want it to be so that when we redo this, we can just draw a straight line across, and that will fix that and flange right up onto this. So while these edges, I realize, are a bit choppy, I really need a probably some smooth jaws maybe with a nice rounded edge on them for that vise and a wider flange hammering tool. Overall, I'm still pretty happy with that. It's going to be better than what was there and it gives us everything that we need to finish the B pillar. All right, so I need to put a bit of weld in the back side here like I was talking about, grind that down and then prep this side here so we can get this welded in. The only place we're welding it in for now is across the top because we're gonna rebuild what's behind it before we do any spot welds. Oh, and I do need to drill a couple spot weld holes in this.
there's that finished seam. Here you can see a little bit of the welding that I did from the back side to fill in those gaps I showed you. Ground a little bit too deep here. We'll definitely have a skim of filler over this to hide it, but overall, not too shabby. Well, I didn't quite make my goal for the week. We've still got one more B-pillar patch to make and install, and we'll get to that next week. After that, I think we're up for putting in some temporary mounts in the back end, hold the body exactly where we want it to go. Once we've got it all totally in place, we can really use that to determine if there's any other rust repairs that we need to get taken care of before permanently attaching that body to this chassis pan. We've been working toward that goal for a couple of weeks now, and I think we're getting pretty close. If you guys are enjoying the shenanigans, please tell your friends, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. Let us know what's working for you and what isn't. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.